This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Looks like it's going to be Bikramjit Singh, though, to open the bowling. Ten overs aside. Get ready and get set. Just waiting for the clock to tick over. Krut Patel. He's back in the black. Let's go with night three of the Super Fives, live from Portugal. First one's short and almost pulled straight to the fielder, who gets done by slight Tortuga. Welcome to ECN Cricket. That's four runs to start the night. Land on com. Yeah, well, you're an acquired taste. Great. Anyway, this is going to be cracked through the offside. Siddiqui gets off the mark. He's a good player. First saw Dinesh in Malta, where he was living at the time. Teed him up with a club there. Um, but we were going to make a push again this year. Full toss and driven away. It's highish. Then they want to have a look at this from side on. All right, well, there's a, a big edge, and that's going to fly away to deep first slip where it's pouched. It's loping away to his left, so Amir Dahl's going to have to go. He doesn't quite crack double digits. The first wicket of the night, the caps are 17 for one. You know, we crave more T20 cricket. That's just going to be in the book. Yeah, just a little tickle on that. It's going to run away. Free hit time. Sound the horn. He tries to hit him in the face. Instead, he gets pulled away. And that'll skip away to the boundary. It's four more. Quite from us. And then it's Siddiqui. Shot. Really nice shot. Goes with the, spin, with the swing. And it's going to end up cracking to the hill. Maximo. Now gets one a little bit short. Able to manoeuvre it away behind square. Four more. Six and four. You know what that means on ECN. Then things got a bit weird. Shot. Lift it up. Over the offside. That's out of here. Maximo. Great shot by Siddiqui, who looks on today. And it goes with the angle. Parveen comes in and disappears off his very first ball. Good shot. Shot. That's up. And going to smash off the grandstand. Maximo. We mentioned Huda. He's a good player. He just has a little bit of width. To work with there, slams it up over the offside. Slow ball picked and hit straight to the fielder. That's gone. So Huda, unfortunately, can't do too much. I think he picks that, but it's one thing to pick it, another thing to hit it. And I think he had the right idea, just didn't get enough of it. He'll go for seven, and a wicket falls on the stroke of the halfway point of the innings. It's 56 for two after five. All right, this is. Up in the air. It's another catching opportunity, and it will be taken. So disappointment for Siddiqui, and I just feel these were a couple of really important wickets. It's well held again out there at deep mid-wicket. It'll be 56 for three with two new batters at the crease. Yeah, well, there you go. This one does keep a little bit low, though. Probably wasn't a shot that's going to win too many beauty contests from Narendra Rana. He'll go for a four-ball globe. And the Capitals now 58 for four at the end of the sixth over. Or not, as it's stripped of its status. Up in the air as Imran wants it. Now he doesn't want it. It falls between the two. It's a good old-fashioned cook-up. And it will result in four runs to Dix Patel. Yeah. Well, this is a thick edge. That's flying away. And it's going to run away for four in the end. So Patel trying to make up for lost time. Samath Patel... Doubles his score with that swing of the bat. Well-needed boundary there. Oh. Bold him. As that one does hit the stump. So it'll be four and out for Sammy Patel. It'll be the fifth to four. Parveen breaks through with a second wicket. And the score now is 70 for five. So, tenth over time. And it's going to be Gurujit. Only one came off his first over. And, well... Take this that. looks like, yeah, it'll be four. It's got a fashion French cut. This is hit pretty well, and that'll beat the fielder. And so, Cuatro Carreras. This is hit, and it's just getting it away from Imran in the circle. So, handy boundaries coming at the moment. All right, last ball. Miss. No run. 83 is where they'll end up. And it'll be 84 for Punjab. What that does mean is they'd have to go at 12 and over to get all the points.
Samath Patel is opening the bowling. Ready, steady, let's go. 84 the target. It's going to start with the ball getting smashed about 100 metres out of the ground. Maximo! Now, there's getting your eye in, and there's that. As Ashad looks like he's he's basically already hit 200 over the half-time break, came out and just... Look at Samath Patel's face there. He's incredulous. Clipped away. Long chase for Huda. It's going to hit the rope. It's going to be four runs. Eight. Lifted up in the air and out of the ground. Maximo. Now, Huda never really had a play on that. Did everything right. He was back pretty much as far as he could go. Had a big jump at it. Still went over his head. So Ashad 16 off five. he run first up. Now he will get Ashad. It's full. It's straight and clips the leg stuff. That's a big piece of the puzzle. Those two teams, in a way, they're kind of similar. If you can get through the top three or four on this pitch, I think you can you can kind of keep the rest quiet. Wow, this is skied. And somebody, somebody should reach this. It's taken. And Shahan Khan, he has more high ball practice this time. He gets Parveen for a duck. Again, everyone was there. The Bermuda Triangle... Then a fourth player showed up, but Shahan said, that's mine. And that's great confidence from the keeper. Here comes Siddiqui to bowl for the first time. As this is up in the air, Siddiqui should do it himself here. And he will. He takes it on the juggle. And there's the third point of the triangle as Imran goes. And the Capitals are on fire here. Tuesday night cricket live from Portugal. Siddiqui with the first ball. He bowls, gets a skyer. And Imran has to go for just one. Does hit it. Sets a bit of a task for the fielders. That's going to be four. Pitches up. Can't resist. It's just out of the grasp of the field, and that'll run away for four. Down the hill. All right, well, can anyone reach this? They should. Can he hold it? He's going to take it. Wow, unbelievable. It's going to be a team catch. It bounced off Chitinda Kumar and it ended up in the hands of Samarth Patel. You can't make this stuff up. He was one hand on the rebound. A little bit of teamwork makes the dream work. And just like that, Siddiqui's got a second. Well, in the air, it's fielder there. And he takes it. Well, they've held their catches for the most part. Amir Dar to his left never really hit that one. Love Preet Singh. And that's five out, and we're only halfway through the fourth over, 31 for five. But they have lost five batters already. Here's Siddiqui. Oh, nicked and gone. There's the sixth wicket, just trying to work it to the leg side. Yunus, it left him a little bit off the deck, and it's easily taken by Shahan Khan behind the stumps. Siddiqui joins the three for club. Angled away. Shoots on the fielder, and it's going to run away for four. They've been so good. He just couldn't predict the bounce. Well, they're going to have to fetch this one. That's gone a long way. And it's going to go over the fence in the end, I think, as well. Maximo! Vikram strikes back. Now in the air. Now someone's got to reach this, surely. Fielder's camped under it. And he takes the catch. Well, the fielding's been top class here in difficult conditions. For the Capitals, so Bikram goes six and out, and that's seven down now. 48 for seven. No full toss, hit hard. Well, he almost catches that. Tries to make it into a catch. It probably was the play. And once you let it bounce, you're pretty much at the mercy of the of the turf gods. It goes up and over into the gap. That's going to be six. Maximo. Well, Gurjit. It's made of a stern constitution. Four overs to go in a thrilling encounter. This one's pitched up. Yeah, I'll take that at this stage. It gets through him. Oh, well. You never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates. This outfield sometimes. Now, thick edge in the air. Field is there. And takes the catch. Well, how, how funny is that? You'd probably trade the three runs for a wicket because it's eight down now. Oh, boy. And you have a look here. Comes down. Yeah, he's got room to spare. So it's going to be four and out for Muslim Abbas, and it's 63 for eight. This could be such an important game.
as far as the standings and who stays and who goes at the end of Thursday. That's six. He gets more of that. Side Ali Naki comes out number 10, puts one over the fence. Maximo! Well, both teams with the finish line in sight here. Punjab CC Amadora 12 runs away, and the Capitals are two wickets away. Well, in the air. Can someone catch this? Huge moment. Taken. Nine down. And Gujit is going to have to fall in his sword for 14. He did want to take the game on, but there's the flip side of the coin. Long time to think about it. Takes it, disappears into the hands. And, well, is that it? Well, there's a lot of handshaking right now. Really, it looks like that's game over. So Adnan will not be available to bat. Big story here. And, yeah, Adnan wasn't available to bat. And so it's going to be 83-72. to 72. What a game that is. Incredible cricket. And credit to the Caps.